Welcome to Fashion One Fashion News. I'm your host, Luisa Alvarez, and I'm here to bring you all the latest, hottest dirt, details, and industry insights from the fabulous world of fashion. Here are this week's top stories. Hugo Boss, U.S. Chief, replaced in efforts to revive the brand. A new report names Amazon as most social brand and Tiffany & Company most passionately discussed. Burberry keeps their crown as industry leader for sustainability in the Dow Jones Sustainability Index. And Mango gets creative in a new digital project campaign. Ugo Boss has said that the head of its U.S. business, Garrett Rutzel, will be replaced at the end of this month after less than two years on the job. In a statement released, it was said that Garrett Rutzel is leaving to seek new opportunities. Replacing him is Anthony Lucia, who is rejoining the company he was with for over a decade, until his departure in 2008. Rutzel's departure comes as Ugo Boss struggled to turn around U.S. business with a sales drop of 21% in the second quarter. Shares for the company have also dropped 46% in the last year. Rutzel is paying for a difficult situation for the brand in the U.S., said Cedric Rossi, an analyst at Brian Garnier & Company. Decreasing apparel sales in America are an industry-wide problem, he said. The reappointment of Lucia is good news, said Jurgen Kolb, an analyst at Kepler Chavru. In his previous spell at the company, Lucia headed the U.S. business for six years, overseeing a sequence of double-digit sales growth. Enterprise social analyst NetBase crowned Amazon the number one social media brand for 2016. According to their 2016 report, the internet-based retailer holds the largest share of voice among consumers. Tiffany & Company was named for being the most passionately and positively discussed brand, said NetBase. Researchers monitored more than 430 million social post conversations across Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr between July 28, 2015 and July 27, 2016. Close behind Amazon, Nike and Best Buy closed out the top three spots as most loved retail brands. A result of best connecting and engaging with their customers, said NetBase in a statement. It's clear from our retail report that some brands are doing a much better job than others when it comes to meeting customer expectations regarding products or customer service. Wherever they stand, each retail brand has the opportunity to leverage social analytics to better understanding their customers' wants, dislikes, and desires to best cater to their needs, said Paige Leading, Chief Marketing Officer at NetBase, in a press release. For their second year in a row, Burberry has been recognized as the industry leader in the 2016 Dow Jones Sustainability Index in the textiles, apparel, and luxury goods. Reflecting the company's strong commitment to continuously explore more productive and sustainable ways of working. The fashion label achieved top scores in customer relationship management, tax strategy, environmental reporting, and best score for overall dimension. The index serves as a benchmark for asset managers who integrate sustainability considerations into their decision making. It is a significant global metric enabling investors to analyze the many economic, environmental, and social factors that are relevant to a company's success. As part of Mango's new campaign, the retailer is debuting a digital project featuring young models Camille Rowe, Julia Restoin Reutfeld, and Alma Yodorovsky. The initiative titled Journey sees the young women star in a short film inspired by each of their personalities and Mango's core values. The short film will star French model and actress Camille Rowe and launch this month, set in Marfa. The film draws inspiration from Bunny Parker from Bonnie and Clyde, a personal heroine of Camille. The second short film will feature creative director and model Julia Restoin Reutfeld. In the film, she reveals what femininity means to her. Finally, the third film in the miniseries will feature French actress, model, and singer Alma Yodorovsky. Launching in November, the theme of the film will be positivity, another of Mango's core values. Mango was founded in 1984 and today is one of the leading fashion groups in the world and has stores in over a hundred countries. Stay tuned for some more juicy gossip on the next episode. Until then, thank you for watching Fashion News.